guys, this is The Anarchist. Like, subscribe, check out my other videos. Today, I'm going over the ban list for 2015, like, end of bit. And yeah, remember, these are my own opinions. Um, this is not, probably not going to happen, but there's stuff I'd like to see happen, and I'll hopefully give my reasons why. And yeah. So... First thing, what needs banning? Nothing. Nothing really needs banning. This format is actually not too bad. A couple of decks that may need addressing. Burning Abyss mostly may need just hurting, but not killing. Because, if anything, it's kind of balanced, really, this format. But yeah. Now, stuff that I think can come off the ban list. One, Heavy Storm. Heavy Storm is needed, almost, in this format. Because every meta deck at the moment is set 5. They have Vanity's Emptiness, they have all of these Chainable Traps in Burning Abyss, they have Pendulums. You want to hit the Spell and Traps. This sorts it. So, you want to just... I don't like the formats where they're going set 5... OTKs can't really happen because we can do this. I'd like where they can go, okay, I'll set five, and then if you have that heavy storm, they get punished for it. That's fair, in my opinion. So, I want them to do this. Uh, I, w I would love Konami to do this, just so that it seems fairer, that's the only way I can explain it really, because at the moment it's just slowing the game down too much and I like more fast paced ones, not where you're just stalling out your opponent sort of thing uh, what can also come back is Dragon's Ravine, because Dragon's Ravine will help Dragoonities in their new support and help Dragon Rulers, and I think Dragon Rulers would be a really fun deck to come back a little bit not to full power, no 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 but it'd be nice to have them come back a little bit so by which I mean the next one, as well as Dragon's Ravine. I'd like to see the baby the baby rulers come back. Just to one. Because you'd take it as a slow step of bring all four back to one. If nothing happens, to two. Nothing happens, try and bring them off the ban list. Sort of thing. Um, and if it went, if they suddenly became overpowered again, you'd take them straight back off. No questions asked. Um, as you'll see later on in my list, I'd like to also see the Dragon Rulers go back to 2. Because it's, it's if the Dragon Rulers go back to 2, you'd have to think more about sending these back to 1. And stuff like that. What I'd also like to see go back to 1. Wind-up carrier Zenmighty. Wind-ups aren't doing anything. Wind-ups would be great fun. They get a new support. Everything else, it helped them. It wouldn't make them broken. Their hand loop, which this caused isn't as broken anymore, it helps Burning Abyss, so yeah. Next thing, kind of would help wind-ups as well, and will help Satella Knights and a few other decks, but number 16, Shockmaster. This one is a bit iffy, you wouldn't have to bring this back necessarily, but think about it. One deck that could abuse it, hmm, Satella Knights. Satella Knights can make this so so easy, with like no trouble, because that's what they do. They put three level fours and make an exceed there. But let's face it, he is a skill drain. So you would in this me in this format in this meta, you'd have to put him to monster effects. And we've got Regeki Dark Hole. We've got all of this other spell or trap removal. We've got all of this um, chainable traps in Burning Abyss. Our monsters are big and can attack over two three. He was a problem when people would go. First turn, spam the board with a load of little monsters, make him, and then just sit there with their 2,300 that, that nobody could get over. So, and the problem was, you could normal summon monsters, and you could special summon them, but you couldn't use their effects, and as the normal summon special summon little monsters, you couldn't get over him. But in the current meta, what, what would you do? You summon Shotmaster, you have to pick effects, so you pick effects... Uh, the Shadow player last plays uh, Shadow Fusion doesn't plus as much because of the lack of monster effects, but suddenly brings out a construct, attacks over it, laughs in their face. You've just wasted three monsters for your Shotmaster, which didn't really do much. 
or you go and get, I don't know, uh, Quillfort. They play that, it's skill drain, Quillfort plays skill drain, they laugh in your face and carry on. Come on, what, what are we missing here? It's not as broken at the moment. The only th deck that can easily summon it, are the two decks that can easily summon it, wind-ups, um, possibly, wind-ups, sort of, and um, Satella Knights could really use it. It helped put them back in there for any support Konami gives them. What else could make it? Maybe Six Samurai. And the other two, wind-ups and Six Samurai, aren't exactly going to be meta-breaking. Wind-ups, maybe, Six Samurai doing nothing. Though they're, apparently they have a good matchup against Quill Force and stuff. But yeah. So I think Shopmaster could come back to one. What else I'd like to see go to one now? Uh, Vanity's Emptiness should go to one. Vanity's Emptiness is... It's not broken, it does have weaknesses, and with the heavy storm and everything else, it, it's okay. But if it was a one-off, it'd stay almost like a staple, and you'd just play it. And it would speed up the game, because I dislike the stall decks where you just sit there controlling the field forever. It's like, that's not fun. You want to be able to go absolutely ape and get that exhilaration of, um, I, if I get stopped at this, I'm stuffed. But if it goes through, I've won in one turn. I always like that feeling. But if I'm playing against my opponent who's going, I've set five, I can stop anything. It's just one of those things of, oh, he flips Vanity's Emptiness, my play is stopped. I don't have the MST to stop it. He kind of stuffed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What else, um, what else could go to one on the list? Could go from one. Um, I don't really know. Maybe um, Fire Lake of the Burning Abyss. That should go down to one. They still need it because it really is a big power play for Burning Abyss. But going down to one would be fair because that way it's just a one of you get blown by it. Oh, they top decked it and stuff. Um, yeah. Now for going to two. Uh, gear, gear, gear. Gear, gear, gear if the shine doesn't get on it, is for Gear Gears, it helped promote Gear Gears, who would then be able to use Shopmaster, so that's why it's a little bit more iffy. Uh, but Gear 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 is a great card. It wasn't necessary to kill Gear Gears like that. It's because apparently Gear Gears are better than Satella Knights in a lot of ways. But they, back at 2, it makes Gear Gears like, playable, but not as broken as they were with 3 Gear Gear Gear. It means you can play the little guys and stuff like that. What else to two? Uh, D Dark Hole could genuinely go to two, as nobody, not even Yang Zing, would play Dark Hole at two and Regeki to do it. Some uh, rogue decks may play it because Dark Hole is Dark Hole, but yeah. What else? Um, can't really think of much else. Oh yeah, comment down below what you think of the list, by the way, and any ideas for stuff I've missed. Um, what else can go to two? Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. This is a bit iffy to me. If the Dragon Rulers stay at one, bring it back to two. And slowly bring it off the list. Because you have this in your Dragon Ruler deck. You draw two cards, but lose one of your four boss monsters that it's difficult to get back. You end up playing like Burial from a different dimension and stuff like that. And then are like, oh, I've just drawn two cards, which may or may not help me. But I've lost my only play. So, yeah. He can come back to two. Next, I'd love to see is the four Dragon Rulers back to two. Because I think Dragon Rulers would be great fun in this deck, in this meta. Shadow, they aren't as broken. So you could play, you could bring them slightly back to like mid power. Because Shadows would laugh as they go and beast them. Quill Forts would go cough for a moment and then realize, when they played their skill drain and then realise. Actually, you can still get over all of them. They're not that, not that broken anymore. I, uh, Burning Abyss. It would actually hurt Burning Abyss a bit because beyond all the chainable traps and stuff, which they have to think about more with the Dragon Rulers, you'd be able to make summon a Dragon Ruler, and Dante wouldn't be as much of a problem. So I think it would almost help the game at the moment and help hurt Burning Abyss if these came back. They'd also become more of a splashable engine and stuff. What else can go to two? Torrential Tribute could go to two. Because 
destroying stuff at the moment isn't good. We're going to end up needing localized banishment to sign more cards, like almost a banish Regeki or a banishing Dark Hole is what we're probably going to end up needing. But Trench Tribute would be good. It hurt um, the Pendulums, but not anything else really. Uh, what else? They might bring like Dimensional Fisher or Macrocosmos back to two to try and hurt these graveyard ones, but I kind of doubt it because it will shut down. I didn't like those cards. When you've got stuff that's just like, yeah, I banish everything, it hurts everything. It just it can just shut them down. It's almost as bad as it, yeah, it is as bad as going for um, Vanity's Emptiness. So that can stay down there. I don't know if Vanity's Fiend needs anything dealing with because it does completely shut down a lot of decks. You summon Vanity's Fiend, they they scoop, sort of thing. If they don't have the Dark Hole or some monster removal, because a lot of our monster removal at the moment requires special summoning. I mean, think about it. If somebody summons something that you, with 2400 or whatever its attack is, and you you can't special summon to get over it, what have you got to destroy it? You've got your Chainable Chaps in Burning Abyss. Fair enough. Your Monarch Storm Forth. Yeah, you can do that and bring out your own one. But what really else? Are you going to... No, you can't shed off fusion. Um, can't judgment dragon them. Can't horn it or injector them. You can't... Uh, the only thing really that's splashable in all decks is like Regeki. And that's a one-off. It's kind of bad. Oh, what else can come up to two on this list? I should have had that out, actually. Um, but Insector Hornet can go back to two, in my opinion. Insector Hornet isn't the problem with Insectors. Insector Hornet is purely spot removal. That's literally what it is. And you only really need one that little that num to level to just bring it back to two. Just add a little bit more consistency of getting it, so it would help them, but not make them broken. If Dragonfly was at two, totally different matter. Because Hornet lets you destroy your opponent, Dragonfly lets you plus off it. So, yeah, if they brought Dragonfly back to two, I would be A, amazed, and B, kind of happy, because it would be fun. But, thinking about it, Hornet to two wouldn't be game-breaking. It would help Insectors. What Insectors really need is another monster. I find their monster count to be a little bit too low in terms of Insectors. They need, like, what I'd like them to have is a Insector Tuna monster that said... Uh, when sand is at uh, effect of like equip something from the handle grave and then it says when a card is equipped from this search out a insect monster or an insect spell or trap maybe spell or trap only sort of thing to make it more balanced to your hand sorry um, that would actually help the deck just that extra monster of a searcher and being a tuner and then you could bring out maybe some Insector Synchro Monsters and a trap card that isn't crap for Insectors because Insectors really, really need like decent traps. They only have like decent spells. But anyway, uh, what can go up from 2 to 3? Gale can, Card Trooper can. Gale can do it there because Black Wings aren't doing anything. Card Trooper not really doing anything. I mean, it'd be f it'd be okay. It's a two. You would you play it at three, maybe, but there are so many better floaters at the moment that you wouldn't really need it. It'd be like you'd play it at two in the deck. You wouldn't play it with three, so you might as well have it at three. Uh, Gauze can Gauze is doing nothing. Even me, who really likes Gauze, wouldn't play it. The only thing Gauze may help is like Exodia, which probably a downside. Um, Chaos Sorcerer can stay at two, actually. Lonefly Blossom can stay at two. Summoner Monk would be can stay at two actually. Summoner Monk can stay at two. Trigodia. Trigodia could probably go to three as well, like Gauls. Uh, Advanced Ritual Art can stay down because uh Necros or Neckloth or whatever you call them. Hieratic Seal of Convocation can go to three because Hieratics are pretty like invisible at the moment, you don't hear of them. And Rotor's at three, so why can't their rotor be at three? What else? Ajama Trio a Jammer True may end up needing to be addressed, as it is a very good slide deck card. But I think at the moment it can stay at 2. But yeah, we could go down to 2 from 3. 
maybe Dante could go. You could possibly like get Dante down from like two to three. Oh, Dastro Fighter can go straight to three because with its new rat attack, it's like bad. But Dante is like the main Burning Abyss play, and it seems to be the problem. Some people have said that Tour Guide needs to be hit with um, Burning Abyss, but let's face it, Tour Guide is just a means to an end. Tour Guide isn't the problem. If you have a Tour Guide on the field, you're not scared. If you have like a Dante from one card. Then you're scared. It's the Dante that's the the bit to get over, not the tour guide. So you could, yeah, you could semi limit tour guide and slow the deck down a little bit. That could be seeable. But Dante could possibly go down to two. But most people only really play two that I've seen. So it may even go down to one. Just to hurt them. But then you might have hurt them too much, and they don't deserve killing, killing. They just deserve like. What do they call it? Yeah, like wing or something. Just, just to just put them down to a more balanced level. Quill forts. What can quill forts be hurt by? Um, dro 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 drop skill drain and vanity's empty. Dro drop vanity's emptiness would hurt all meta decks at the moment, which would do the game some good. Um, just because it lets rogue play again, because that was the problem. Rogue decks at the moment are like pretty dead. So if they got, and that's because they've just stopped special summoning, which means that rogue decks can't go off. So yeah, so you just end up getting skill drain could go down to two or even one, but some places only even play two skill drain, and it, I could see skill drain going down to one if shockmaster came back up to one, because that means you could get the shockmaster out. It is a skill drain for the maximum of three turns, but. It's just one of those things. You could get, that, that would be okay, but skill drain could be hit. What else? I don't really know anything else that would help the the game at the moment. Really, comment down below if I've missed something bleeding obvious. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what I've missed because I know I've probably missed a load of things that you think, oh, that's got to be. Why have you missed that sort of thing? I don't know what else could come off the ban list. Oh, Gateway of the Six Samurai could come off the ban list. Just thought of that. Because Six Samurai aren't doing much, and it'd help them. And at one, it'd be fine. But, what else? I've heard some people say Sinister Serpent. Nah. Sinister Serpent could stay banned. I've heard some people say Rescue Cat. And people going, oh, it just lets you bring back um, to Beast Warriors, and so it's helping raccoons and everything else. So basically, you're, you're, just, you're just giving people an excuse... You, everybody complains about Tour Guide, and yet you're giving people an excuse to get a f card that just goes to the grave, so it's easy to bring back, but gives you an instant rank 3, with the amount of Toolbox rank 3 exceeds we've got, and you're saying, that's okay. Yes, it's not going to make X-Sabers broken, which was the point it went on there, but the point is, so you put it in there, it's now going to make so many, it's going to make a few of the other rogue decks a bit more broken because they've just got an instant rank 3. It's as bad as Tour Guide for Burning Abyss sort of thing. I don't like that one, but um, everybody says Dark Magician of Chaos. But if you went put Dark Hole to 2, like I've said, and add like 3 or 4 and Soul Charge, I probably would leave Dark Magician of Chaos off there. I know it's a pain to get out, but if you did get it out, it is like, yeah. It's one of those things. Stratos may actually come back because Konami profit. But um, hopefully... Oh, Tribe Infected and Virus can come back as well. Thinking about it. Tribe Infected and Virus can come back. But I don't really know what else. Some... Trishula, some people have said. Don't think Trishula will come back. Because it will take some of the shiny lackluster off um, Necros. Because people will be like, I've been playing Trishula. They'll see... It's a bit more of a pain to use and is sometimes not as good as you think it is. So take away some of the shininess of the new Necro Trishula thing. That's just a thought in my head that they won't bring it back because they'll want to promote the new Necros more. So, yeah. But anyway, tell me what you think. The Anarchist, signing out.